Hello, everyone. I am uh, Sherry Lee, one of the media relations managers at Metro, and I will be doing today's um, media briefing. Um, so I'll start with the service update. Today, we had 38 uh, trains in service, and of those 38 trains, two of those were used um, as gap trains to fill in wherever we have uh, any crowding issues or in the event of any kind of unscheduled uh, maintenance. Um, yesterday, 90% of our trains arrived within 10 minutes of their schedule. So that remains every 15 minutes on the red line, every 20 minutes on the green line, and every 30 minutes on the blue, orange, silver, and yellow lines. Um, to update you on where we're at with getting some additional rail cars into service, um, as you know, since last week, we've been working to um, get 32 additional 2,000 and 3,000 series trains that have been in storage at the Shady Grove Yard and to get those out uh, into service. Um, at this time, this is information that we're just getting in. Um, we had previously uh, re-energized the rail yard at Shady Grove, and um, we're just learning now that uh, we are in the process of restoring power uh, to those tracks between Shady Grove and Twin Brook, where we've been doing that Rockville Canopy replacement project, um, so that we can begin the process of moving those uh, rail cars um, out of the Shady Grove yard. Um, I do want to mention that as we do this, this is not a process that's going to happen overnight. Um, we are hoping to get the first set of rail cars um, out of that yard uh, no later than tomorrow morning. Um, and then over the next several days, get all 32 of those uh, rail cars um, out of Shady Grove so that we can begin to put them into passenger service and relieve some of the um, issues for our customers with the longer wait times uh, you know, throughout the system. So we continue to work on that. Um, while we are doing that, um, as we make room from Shady Grove by taking some of those train cars out, um, we have to make room for them at one of our other rail yards. So we have 7,000 series trains that are stored at some of our other rail yards. Um, so in these next few days, you may actually see some 7,000 series trains coming through the system as they're being transported up to Shady Grove for storage there. And this is really just a logistics thing and sort of making room from one yard uh, to the other yard so that we can get those 2,000 and 3,000 series trains uh, into service that have been uh, in storage. Um, another thing that uh, as far as getting those trains into uh, service, um, because of the limited capacity uh, in the shops, um, it's not something where you can put 32 trains or 32 rail cars that is um, into shops all at the exact same time to do those inspections and get the maintenance work done so that they're ready uh, to begin service. So um, we are getting out the, the cars that are ready um, right now, and we will continue to move cars into the shops, get them inspected, um, get any maintenance done on them, and then get them into the system. So that's another reason that it's going to take a couple of days for us to be able to get all of those trains and rail cars out of Shady Grove and into service. But that is definitely some good news uh, for our customers out there. Um, <clears throat> because of the... Um, efforts uh, to improve reliability for our customers and uh, place more rail cars into passenger service, as well as to address um, some unexpected uh, material issues related to our canopy replacement project there at Rockville. Um, we are letting our customers know today that the reopening of the Shady Grove and Rockville stations is going to be delayed until mid-January of 2022. Um, again, that's because of these efforts that we have uh, that have been underway to get those uh, rail cars out of the Shady Grove yard and get them through um, and into passenger service. Uh, in order to access those rail cars at Shady Grove, um, what we've had to do is um, dismantle uh, the platforms that have been built um, at the Rockville station to protect the tracks. Um, we've had to dismantle all the construction site uh, there We've had to remove equipment and all of that takes time. And then we'll have to be reconstructed in order to um, continue uh, with the platform, I'm sorry, with the um, Rockville Canopy replacement project. 
Um, so that's some of the logistical issues and challenges that we're facing there as well. And one of the reasons for the, uh, the delay in the reopening of those stations. Um, and uh, you know, as we move through this process, we will continue to update you um, as far as getting those rail cars removed from service. Um, we also continue to work with the WMSC on that draft inspection plan for the 7,000 series rail cars so that we can get those uh, trains and rail cars back into service. And we will let you know when we have that final uh, draft submitted to WMSC for consideration. And with that, I'll take any questions that anybody has. And Ian, if you could just call them out, that would be great. Anyone? Hi, Tom Rousey, go ahead. Hey, Sherry, I just wanted to be clear on when you were saying the efforts to get those trains out. When, when the trains leave the Shady Grove Yard, are they ready to go into service at that point or do they, do they need to go somewhere else to get those inspections done and then they'll be ready? So we're actually in the process. We have our car maintenance teams at the Shady Grove Yard right now doing inspections and working on maintenance and getting them out of the yard. Um, I, I don't have any additional details as to what additional work may or may not be necessary on those cars, so I can certainly check on that and get back to you. Um, but it is going to be a process that's going to take several days. I'm told that we do have eight uh, rail cars right now that are prepared uh, to leave the Shady Grove Yard. Um, and that, that, uh, those rail cars are going to be transferred over, I think, to our Brentwood Yard. Um, and again, there's a lot of logistics going on here. We're going to be taking those 2000 and 3000 series rail cars from Shady Grove, moving them over to our Brentwood rail yard. But in order to make room for them over there, we're going to be moving some of the 7000 series trains from Brentwood up to Shady Grove. So customers might see some 7000 series trains um, coming through the system. They're not picking up passengers. They're simply being transported up to Shady Grove for storage. But I guess, when they go to Brentwood, do they need more work done at Brentwood? At, or, or once they leave the Shady Grove, are they ready to go into service? There's a lot of things that have to be done for all of our rail cars to make sure that they're um, ready to go into service every single day, not just these trains, um, but all of our trains. So these rail cars will um, undergo the same treatment as any other train cars that are currently in service today before they're put out in passenger service. Okay, so when it leaves, the first one leaves tomorrow morning, it can't go right into passenger service. It's going to take. It may or may not. It, it's got to okay. go through the same process that all of our other trains every night, you know, they get checked to make sure that they're ready to go for passenger service. Um, so, you know, I can say that we're moving them out of the, out of Shady Grove. We're bringing them to Brentwood um, where they will be amongst all the cars that we have available for service. And, um, you know, dependent on all the things that the checklist and the things they go through every single night to make sure that those trains are ready for the next morning, they'll go through just like the rest of the trains um, that we have in service. Okay, so it sounds safe to say it should, at least in the coming days. Yes, okay. yeah, in the coming days, in the coming days. Yeah, okay. absolutely. And but they, they are technically what we call available for service when they leave Shady Grove. Okay. And so you said 32 train cars. So does that basically equate to six, I mean, to five, six car trains plus two extra? Um, <laughs> I'll let you do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I believe five. Uh, yeah. I think if we're still running the six car trains, so that should be, you know, 30, um, 30 cars would be five uh, trains and then uh, two additionals um, okay. that we would have available. So thanks for putting me on the spot, you know, <laughs> always. Anybody else? Um, one thing I do want to make clear with you, Tom, is no later than tomorrow morning um, on those trains. So if we um, do hear anything, you know, I'll certainly see if I can let you know if, we, if those are going to move any earlier. But it would be no later than tomorrow morning that we'll begin the movement. Okay. And we are in the process right now of energizing the um, tracks there between Shady Grove and Twinbrook so that we can start doing that. And when you say no later tomorrow morning, you mean the first one will leave? No, the later. first one no later than yeah. tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Adam, Tassi, you have a question? Yep. 
Yeah, sorry guys, I joined late. Did you, uh, Sherry, apologies. Did you already talk about the Rockville uh, project? I did a little bit, um, but I can certainly recap that for you. Um, uh, as you know, we've been uh, working to dismantle that construction site at uh, Rockville um, where we're replacing the canopy. Um, part of that process uh, requires some extensive work to remove uh, the platform that we have built across the tracks to protect the tracks. Um, so we've dismantled all of that um, now, um, and then that will all have to be rebuilt again um, before they can complete that canopy uh, project there. Um, so due to that, so that we can get these trains out of Shady Grove, as well as some quality um, control issues with some of our glass panels for the canopy, the project is going to be delayed. Um, and we want our customers to know that uh, we anticipate Shady Grove and Rockville Station now reopening by uh, mid-January. So that's about, it was supposed to be early December, right? So that's about a month delay? Yeah, the original um, uh, reopening date was December 5th. Um, and now it will be uh, mid-January. Um, we don't have the exact date uh, just yet. Um, there are a number of things that do have to occur, um, you know, once the, the project is complete to get the station ready. So as soon as we, um, you know, have a better understanding of the um, uh, quality issues with the glass uh, canopies um, and, uh, uh, and have a better idea, we will certainly let our customers know uh, a specific date as we get uh, closer to that point. So there's, a, there's an issue with the actual glass panels? Um, yeah, let me get you some details here. Give me just a moment here. Um, yeah, so we, what we experienced was some inconsistent quality with the um, glass fiber reinforced concrete panels that go over the top of the, the canopy. Um, now, some of them that we've put in are just fine, but then you know, through our process, our inspection process and checking the quality of these panels, we did discover there were some that don't meet our standards. Um, we have addressed those issues and we are working to make sure that um, all of the uh, GFRC uh, panels that we're installing meet our quality standards. And that's the additional reason for the delay while we get that addressed. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Anyone else? Um, one thing I will mention uh, for our customers, you know, I understand that, you know, this has been a, um, you know, a, a few months of this work going on um, with the Rockville Canopy Replacement Project um, and keeping Shady Grove and the Rockville stations closed. Um, we are working to um, ensure that we continue to have our shuttle buses operating. Um, for all of our customers, just as they are now with the frequency that we have now um, through this project. So we will continue to provide that shuttle bus service for our customers. Um, we understand the inconvenience, uh, but we're gonna get this work done and we need to get those rail cars out of Shady Grove so that we can also uh, provide more reliable and consistent and better service for our customers across the system as well. Anybody else? Adam, do you still have another question or do you not take your hand down? Uh, I was delinquent in taking my hand down. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Justin, anybody else? Questions? Okay. All right, great. Um, so tomorrow, as a reminder, um, the uh, briefing will uh, be part of the uh, board meeting. So please um, tune in. Um, that is available live streaming uh, for anyone who wants to take a look at that. Um, but we'll provide that update there. And then on Friday, barring any kind of breaking news, uh, we'll provide um, the briefing uh, via email. Um, and with that, I think that's it. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Appreciate it.